So I'm interested in a fundamental issue in neuroscience, how the brain, and the whole of the central nervous system in fact, becomes wired during development. Neural circuits are very complicated, but they are the basis for which all neural functioning occurs. The formation of neural circuits is a three-step process. A cell, an undifferentiated cell, first has to decide to become a neuron, and it will then as a function of being a neuron, extend a projection called an axon. And that axon will grow through the dynamic, ever-changing environment of the embryo in a process that we call axon guidance. It will ultimately reach its synaptic target. My laboratory is interested in that middle process, the process by which axons find their way through the environment of the embryo towards their synaptic target. So one of the reasons for studying the mechanisms by which circuits are first established is that we will be able to reuse, hopefully, reuse those mechanisms in order to regenerate neural circuits that have been damaged either due to injury or disease. What we found, depending on how we manipulated the intrinsic environment of the neuron, we could either slow down growth or we could greatly accelerate the rate of growth. On thinking about it, it became apparent that our cue must be controlling the rate at which the neurons extend an axon. The ability to accelerate axon outgrowth, we may be able to shave off significant time in the ability of a patient to recover. And we in the lab are able to accelerate axons up to 25%. And the nervous system is capable of incredible feats. We can use it to walk in a coordinated manner. We use it to learn, we use it to perceive. Every, in some sense, what we are is a function of our nervous systems. And I, I just find the, the specialized mechanisms by which the nervous system is established to be one of the most thrilling things that you could possibly investigate.